All right, my friend, welcome. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder here at the Fit Father Project. In today's video, we're gonna look at how to do rear delt flies with the dumbbells, which is one of the best exercises that's actually research proven to hit the, the rear delt, the posterior deltoid, um, amazingly well. So I'm gonna show you some key form points on how to make this exercise more effective based on the anatomy of the shoulder. And after going through the actual form demo here in our Fit Father Project gym, um, I'm gonna give you some recommendations on some sets and reps on how you can incorporate this exercise into your routine for stronger, more balanced shoulders. I think you're gonna learn a ton. So get out a pen and paper and let's dive on in, my friend. Fitfatherproject.com all right, so so many of us spend so much time um, doing exercises that work the front part of our bodies and our shoulders. A lot of the pressing we do, whether it's bench press or overhead pressing, really focuses on the anterior and lateral deltoids. And oftentimes, the rear delt gets left out of the equation. This is why reverse flies are just so critical for both rounding out the aesthetics of a shoulder that's strong and balanced, but also helping us posturally. Because a lot of these big muscles up front cause our shoulders to move into internal rotation. And we have this hunched forward position, which is very unhealthy on the shoulder. We want to work the rear delts too, so we're open, we have great posture, and that deltoid is strong in the back as well as the front. So this is why rear delt flies are essential. So here's how we do it. We get a pair of dumbbells and we get a nice seat like this. I want you to get on the edge of the seat and I want you to shift forward right here because we're going to be having those dumbbells kind of swing underneath our legs as we're doing this exercise. Now, you want to go really light. You know, I have fairly strong shoulders and these are just 10 pound dumbbells because this is the kind of exercise, it's not about heaving weight, it's not about momentum, it's about the contraction of these very small and precise muscle groups in the back. So we're gonna grab some small dumbbells, I have 10s right here, and we're gonna dangle them right here. Now, what the research shows is that the hand position that you pick for the rear delt fly is essential for the activation. It actually shows that the best position is internal rotation, which I know we said we want to avoid a lot of internal rotation in the shoulder. We're going to be okay in this instance, but internal rotation is where we're going to go like this. We're going to keep those palms facing backwards, that shoulders in internal rotation, just like this. This is what hits the rear delt the most. Whenever you bend forward, take a deep breath, those shoulder blades come back like this, and then we're going to fly up like this and I'll pause for a second at the top. So at the top, I want you to squeeze, even for like one second, just like this. Back, you can feel that rear delt work, just like this. Not swinging, not using a motion where I'm like this, as you see a lot of people do rear delt flies looking like this with heavy dumbbells. Small dumbbells, just like this, feel that contraction, feel that rear delt shoulder work, just like this, in internal rotation. Feel like you're trying to pause for a second at the top and come on down. Even if you can't stop that dumbbell, even just the conscious act of trying to pause it at the top is really gonna activate that rear delt. So a couple more reps here, right on down, up, down. So that is how we recommend you do the rear delt fly. Because this is kind of like a finesse motion, it's a good thing to do at the tail end of your workout. Um, in the higher rep range, somewhere around the 10 to 15 rep range is great. Use a lighter weight, feel that good contraction, try to pause for a second at the top. Really feel that rear delt, just you can prove it to yourself if you're watching on your computer or your phone. Stick your arm out like this, in internal rotation, back like this, and touch the back of your shoulder. You're gonna feel that thing totally light up, be totally active. And notice how if you change your hand position to this neutral grip how some of that contraction of the rear delt is not as good you can play around with it and even more so if you externally rotate you lose a little bit of that rear delt so you can play with it this is the research back position be right here and again do this at the tail end of your workout you can actually do this kind of exercise either on some kind of back or pull day or at the tail end of a press day if you do chest shoulders triceps it fits in both spots because even though it is a shoulder exercise it's working the posterior muscles here so it goes really well with other great back exercises like pull-ups, like face pulls, rows. It's a great thing to throw on the tail end of a back workout as well as potentially at the end of some kind of pressing workout to round out your shoulder exercises. So let's say you did some dumbbell shoulder press, some kind of bench pressing. It might be a good idea to end with some of these rear delt flies. And honestly, doing these twice per week could be a really good addition to your training because we do so much again on the front side. We want to make sure we're working the rear delts as well. So I hope you found this valuable and you learned something useful in this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Let us know. We love hearing your feedback and uh, drop us a comment below on if you could feel the difference between your different hand positions and how activated your rear delt is. Um, I'd love to hear um, what your body mechanics are like and if, if that works for you. 
Um, and also, if you like this video and you want more of this stuff, science-based exercise tutorials on pretty much every exercise, then subscribe to our Fit Follower Project YouTube channel. We have hundreds of videos already on the channel right now waiting for you um, that covers all the best exercises. And to make things incredibly convenient for you so you don't have to find hours digging around, we actually put together a free cheat sheet of the 50 best research back exercises per body part. So we go through each body part, we give you the best exercises with all the form guides, all those fine points in a straight link to the video where you can watch. And if you're out there trying to build the best kind of exercise protocol for your body, then you definitely want to get that and uh, start to pick those proper exercises. We'll send that straight to your email. There's links below in the description, or if you're watching here on our Fit Follower Project blog, it's embedded all over the place. You can definitely check that out. So hit thumbs up, drop us a comment, let us know about that hand position, and subscribe. Um, I'm really grateful you found this video, and I look forward to seeing you around the channel, seeing you around the Fit Follower Project blog, giving you that free cheat sheet PDF, and talking to you about your goals, getting to know you better, um, and helping you reach those fitness goals faster and easier than you ever thought possible. I'll talk to you very soon, my friend.